on the Asian continent and in the Western Pacific Ocean. A land area of 9,600 square kilometers limit to the north with Mongolia, Russia. China is the third largest country in the world. Uh, the maximum temperatures of China do not exceed by much the 3 degrees and the minimum temperatures in some areas like Beijing uh, can even even negative. Uh, China has the four seasons and average temperature at 10 degrees. Uh, is the most popular country in the world, a uh, world's leading economic of language of China. China is a multi-ethnic and multilingual country with a great linguistic and diversity and language of several language families. Uh, there are uh, living language currently uh, 2000. Uh, the language is called Chinese Standard Mandarin. Um, the food typic is some important typic dish are the dim sim this dish has vegetables, meats and the safe food, sea food. Uh, some important typical dishes are dim sim. This dish has vegetables, meats and sea food. Other is shark fin soup. Um, and other is a ballon on bit of lettuce. This dish has fish and sea food. A party typical uh, of China are the Chinese New, New uh, The Chinese New Year is celebrated on the first day of the first lunar month on January or February. A Latin festival connections between China and Colombia are in the commercial area exports of Colombia oil to China stand out. Uh, in terms of inver inverse term, the substantial wake is recorded by companies such as Huawei, cell phones and new technologies. Photon heavy goods vehicles and Sinopec petroleum. China is the second commercial partner of Colombia and the best inversor for the country. Exports to this country represent 27.9% of total Colombia external makes in the Undur Valley, the most important commercial partner of our country. The biggest export from Colombia to the North American country are vegetables, flowers, uh, fools, pearls and precious stones. Colombia has a great opportunity to supply the Chinese market with product, products such as fruits, meat, products and chemical and metal machine inputs. Okay, I'm going to talk about the types of economic uh, policies applied in China. The first five years plan was uh, since 1953 until 1957. Well, it was emphasized on the industrial development. The bulk of the store's investment was channeled into the industrial sector, while agriculture was forced to rely on its own meager capital resources for a substantial uh, part of its fund requirements. Uh, on their way, in 1958, the policy of Green Leap Forward was announced. In agric uh, the, agri in the agricultural part was involved forming com communes, um, abolishing private plots. Uh, in industry, the construction of large plant was to continue, but it was to be supplemented by a huge drive to develop a small industry, making use to large number of small, simple, and locally uh, plants uh, to make it work. So uh, the third was the great, the great proletarian cultural revolution began in 1966, but unlike the Great Leap, uh, didn't have an explicit economic philosophy. Nevertheless, industrial production was bo was badly affected by the ins uh, ensuing decade of conclusion and strife, which also led some difficult uh, legacies for the Chinese economy. In industry wakes. And the last type of economic policies that I'm going to talk about is the rural economic reform that initiated after the Mao Zedong uh, began with a hike prices that it increased for agricultural products in 1979. And in 1985, the government announced that it would 
it will be dismantle the system of planet procurement with the states allocate a production quotes in agriculture. Thank you. Good morning. I want to talk about the economic aspects of China. So the first one is the currency. The currency, we can see the currency from China is yuan, and the value of the yuan in front of peso colombiano is 446. Now you can see in this graphic the volatility in the currency of the currency of China in front of Colombia. Okay, the second aspect is inflation. So the inflation of China is 2.5 percent size of January. So you can see 2007 until July 2018. Eight. It's good inflation because it's low and stable. So you can see the the volatility is. The next topic is the gross domestic product, and you, now you can see the graphic. And the graphic, the first one, it's in the first part of the graphic, it's about eight percent, and the part of the down is six point six percent. So right now, China is around six point five growth rate. It's a good growth rate. So uh, the second graphic, it's about the gross domestic product. This value is uh, it's in billion of dollars, and you can see how the how the gross domestic product is grow in the different in the different years. Okay, now the okay now the next topic is unemployment and the unemployment rate from China since 2005 is a uh, 4.75 percent and now truly 2018 is 3.83 percent so the meaning of this rate is uh, china has unemployment natural rate 